Blackpool looked the more likely promotion contenders when they thumped Middlesbrough 4-1 back in September. But it was Borough who sat a point and a place outside the top two before this one. They say practice made well Middlesbrough had seven corners in the opening 15 minutes and finally broke through with the seventh. Ishmael Miller glancing in Grant Ledbetter's delivery. Blackpool have been notoriously slow starters this season and they still haven't managed to attempt of their own when Richard Smallwood scored his first goal at the Riverside on his 22nd birthday. So everything was pointing to yet another home win for Tony Mowbray's side but Blackpool were right back in it just before the hour mark. Former Sloney, Wes Thomas halving the deficit and suddenly the Seasiders were looking likely to mount yet another comeback. But they couldn't seize the initiative and did very little to prevent Borough from regaining their two-goal cushion. Scott McDonald was allowed to run virtually unchallenged before curling in a fifth goal in seven games. Again, Blackpool were back in it when Jason Steele didn't deal with a corner and Chris Basham left home. But Borough's keeper would soon have a chance to make amends when Jonathan Woodgate was controversially a chance to have brought down Gary Taylor Fletcher by the referee's assistant. Thomas Ince steps up to make it 3-3, but Steele saves brilliantly. Three minutes from time, so Adam Reach finally struck to secure the point. The omens are good for Borough and Tony Mowbray. Jack Charlton's title winning side of 1974 with a last to manage ten home wins before the turn of the year. It obviously got a bit edgy, two goals in front twice, and yet still looked as if we were going to get pulled back. But uh, here we are staying after the game.